Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Gifford here and today I am going to talk to you about lesson 8-1, monomials and factoring. After this lesson, you will be able to find a GCF, greatest common factor, and factor monomials. First, let's take a look at some vocabulary terms. So switch to your vocab section. The first one is, what is a GCF? The letters GCF stands for the greatest common factor, and that means it's the biggest factor between two terms um, that they have in common. The next one is, what is factored form? Factored form is when it's expressed as the product, product meaning when we multiply, the product of prime numbers. Well, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that can only be divided by one and itself. Here's a whole list of prime numbers. If we were to break them down, the only way to get them would be to be one times whatever their number is. So knowing those three terms, let's take a look at our first example. In example one, we're going to factor this expression, negative 20, x to the third, y to the second. The first thing that we're going to do is factor each number and variable. What do we mean by factor? We're going to break it down as a product of numbers. So we're going to split them up into three little mini problems because there's three parts to this. We're going to split it up as negative 20, x to the third, and y squared. So the first thing that we're going to do is say, okay, how can I break negative 20? It's negative 1 times 20. x to the third means x times x times x, and y squared means y times y. We can still go further with the negative 1 and the 20 because 20 is not a prime number. What can we multiply to make 20? Right, you can either do 4 times 5 or you could have done 2 times 10. I'm going to choose to show you 5 times 4. In this case, 5 is prime so we're done, but we know that we can break 4 down also as 2 times 2. Then what we can do is bring everything at the end of these little black lines, these arrows that have all finished. Negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 5 and then we've got x times x times x and then y and y. Here's our last two y's, here's our x's, and notice that our numbers are in chronological order from least to greatest. So that's factoring the expression negative 20 x to the third y squared. Now let's take a look at example two. We're gonna find the GCF of 12 a squared b squared c and 18 a b to the third. Remember, we're finding the biggest thing, biggest factors that these two expressions have in common. So the first thing that we're going to do is factor each of them. And then again, we're going to look to see what they have in common. So we're going to do the same thing we just did in problem number one. And we're going to ask ourselves, how can we break 12? How can we break down 18? 12, you could either think 3 and 4 or 2 and 6. 18, you could either, either have done 6 and 3, or in this case, we're choosing to do 2 and 9. In this case, 2 is prime for both of them, but 6 and 9 are not, so we're going to break them down further. 6 can be broken down as 2 times 3, and 9 can be broken down as 3 times 3. Then I break up the a squared as a times a, b squared as b times b, and then we have our c. And then I bring my a down, and then b to the third has b times b times b. Our greatest common factor is what they have in common. They each have a 2, there's a 3, and there's an a, and there's a b that overlaps with them. So here's a 2 that they have in common. I can see that they each have a 3, they each have 1a, and then there's actually two B's in here that we can cross off of both. Now I know there's some leftover ones, but we're only looking for the ones that they have in common. So then we simplify it. Two times three is six, and we have our A, and B times B is B squared. So in this case, six A B squared is the greatest common factor between those two expressions. So, <clears throat> last thing to do on your notes is to write your summary. So, decide right now if you're going to do it on your notes or if you're going to do it on a summary sheet. 
um, the next day or if you made a foldable study guide that you're using for this particular unit. That's it for lesson 8.1.